All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet and sorry I missed out on the yet another video edit yesterday but we are back today and before we even get started I gotta say shouts out to the finesse gang those who get here early subscribe drop a like finesse the bell all that good stuff you do that early on in the video and you might see your name right up here on the screen with me so just some reminders yes for those who have been asking i will be in atlanta for sneaker con also if you missed out on all the times i talked about it new sample ind drop sample industries drop is live right now on sampleind.com a lot of the hoodies are starting to sell out in certain sizes so if you guys were looking at it just letting you know some of the stuff is starting to sell out so i mean the small t all the other stuff that i showed you guys if you're looking for a new hoodie or some new tees or just something different a new brand maybe you've never heard of sample ind link is down below and also i just hope you guys have been enjoying the video i've been trying to get on the schedule that i was talking about um we'll see how that goes i know i post kind of late sometimes that's just because I gotta hit up Cox, bro, cause Cox is slacking. When I try to upload in my crib, it's like an hour plus upload for a 10 minute plus video. Then I gotta drop to the parents' crib and then I get a 10 minute upload on Fios. I don't know why we don't have Fios in my area, but besides all that, Finesse Gang, I appreciate you, but intro out of the way, let's get into this week's weekly sneaker rotation, which isn't so weekly, but uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into the rotation. She ride my dick to a slaw. Yeah, drain the seat till she thaw. Yeah, she about to go up. Hey, she really tall. Yeah. So for Monday, I actually went with a newer pickup. This is one of the colorways of the Solar Glide Hue or whatever. Basically, one of the human race um boost sneakers, and this was my favorite colorway. You guys know there was three of them. You had the white, the black, and the crazy multicolor one. And these to me were my favorite. Now I'm still working on getting a pair of the Trail Human Races, but these are super, super clean. And one thing I will say about anything that is similarly shaped to the Ultra Boost is that I'm wearing these without the insoles in them. To me, I feel like Ultra Boost always fit me a half size small. The 12 worked, but it was just a little bit too bunchy. So I would always take out the insole and that would help a lot. So if you feel like your shoes or your Ultra Boost are fitting a little bit snug, just take the insole out because most of the time you're sitting on mostly boost on the footbed so it's not going to be that bad of a ride without the insole in there but other than that i mean to me it was just a crazy clean colorway i like what they did especially little hue hits on the back near the heel the hue embroidered in on the toe and these are just some dope aspects of the shoe i believe these retail for 150 or 160 i could be wrong they probably since they are a boost but they're not all prime knit I guess it would be in a 160 to 180 range. And uh, for that price, I definitely didn't want to pass it up. I actually, when I checked these out, it told me that I didn't get them. It wasn't going through. And um, I actually checked my email and checked my bank account because sometimes you just got to check your bank statement. And um, I actually got through on these. So, Solar Glide Hues in multicolor and white. Super, super clean pair of shoes. And um, if you do get them, if you get your true size, just go ahead, take the insole out. You'll be good to go. But that was Monday. Let's get into Tuesday. I got my door. Yeah, say I took your style, niggas just grow up. Oh well. So for Tuesday, I had to reach back in the Ultra Boost archives because this isn't a super old sneaker, but there are some colorways that originally came out that I think are some of the best colorways. The Ultra Boost 1.0 to me, that's the best Ultra Boost so far. 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 6.0, 7. All that is cool. But the 1.0 is the best. And yes, I do know that these came with the, oh no, they didn't. This was before they started doing the 2.0 uh, continental outsole, but this is fully 1.0. And one thing I really liked about these is that the gray is just that perfect gray. It's actually a woolen upper. It's like a woolen knitted upper. And uh, I've worn these a good few times. I've kept mine pretty clean over the years once again these are another size 12 and i had to take the insole out but the og wool gray ultra boost 1.0 i really really liked the weave pattern they used on these on the toe and um to me definitely one of the best ultra boost colorways yes they are very basic yes they are just gray um but the wool the textures on this is perfect the shade of gray is perfect and uh like i said man the 1.0s are just they hit it. They hit it with that first model. So not much else to really get into on these. I probably worn these, I don't know, the bottom of them is super, super clean. I probably worn these joints maybe five, six times. 
yes my boost has gotten a little bit dirty but the uppers themselves are still super super clean and um this this was just a really really dope pair of ultra boost and um i do still have some of my ultra boost back there and this is one of them so that was tuesday the wool great ultra boost 1.0 fire let's get into wednesday no big bank you ain't got no wallet no bank in your what i got bank in my pocket now for wednesday i bought a shoe that was the last of a trifecta that i actually completed and that is the supreme nike air morph tempo and to be honest with you guys i remember when i first saw these whatever the last retro was maybe the second to last retro but probably 10 years ago i used to hate hate this sneaker right here and i've only recently come to like it especially with some of the og colorways that red black and white colorway um the ones that are all white with the black stripes on them with the red there's just a couple really good colorways in this sneaker and um this is a perfect perfect shoe for a fall if you don't want to boot but you want something that's thick chunky and will work and will last through the elements i mean this these are tanks, bro. These are tanks. Now, although this colorway itself, since it is the Supreme collab, is gonna cost you some more. I actually bought these at round two VA. I drove to Richmond, all the way to Richmond, to get this pair. Um, so they are definitely staying in my collection. But you can grab probably some of the OG colorways, just the black and white ones, um, for pretty cheap. And I just like the all black shoe, just because there's so many different Nike swooshes on it. You got on the toe, you got it on the tongue, on both sides of the heel, on the bottom, you got the a huge Nike swoosh and it's just another dope retro basketball Nike sneaker um, that they drop they don't drop I mean they drop a lot of them and a lot of them actually end up hitting outlets and that was one of my shoes that would have been on my list a lot is just old basketball Nike retros because they hit the outlets and they're still super super dope shoes but Supreme and Nike the air more tempo uh, the tugboats these are definitely the tugboats the titanic joints great shoe overall and a great shoe for the fall slight bars but that was wednesday let's get into thursday no hoes on your roster you niggas y'all is imposters yeah kick it one time with your girl and i swear we play soccer so up next for thursday any uh 757 or va locals may have heard of the haunted hayride or hunt club farms and that's what i did on thursday and these right here are what i wore because i just wanted to see how these would work out in casual day-to-day -day wear i know it's puma's new basketball shoe but i just kind of wanted to see how they were just wearing them around and i was actually surprised at how much i liked the shoe it's just actually super super comfortable because of this extra foam or whatever they put on the inside of these is just a super comfortable material it is a knitted shoe but since it's a basketball knitted shoe with some good support in them and um overall for casual wear i mean they're cool they work i just think you gotta have the right pair of pants for them like i said i think joggers and track pants all that stuff will work and um certain jeans with a decent taper on them are gonna work as well the ones you guys are seeing right now are actually from pack sun they're called like stack skinny denim and it's definitely a pretty heavy taper on them but i think they work all right i would like a little bit of a less taper with these just because of how bulky this shoe is in some points like the toe box um around the heel not having a real tongue those are just things you gotta look out for but the puma clock cord that was the sneaker for thursday so let's get into friday damn i will not keep her hey because that girl she is a bopper yeah that's all right tell my friends hey yeah i turn that girl to a hopper hey. now for friday i went with a shoe that i have not worn in a very very long time I actually went out and seen halloween on friday and i told y'all i thought it was a good uh, five out of ten six out of ten type movie but these right here the bread air jordan one i have not worn these in a long time you guys can tell that i'm lazy sometimes because i lace them with two different types of laces or two different colors so you guys can see what they look like on the on feet and usually i'm just so lazy afterwards that i just leave the laces in there even though i'd rather have both black laces in both um I'm, I'm just being lazy bro and the red laces are probably just gonna stay in here forever but what really needs to be said about the bread air jordan one um really like some of the more recent retros that they did i think they did a good job with the quality mine are still holding up very very well and that's just because i don't wear mine a lot out of all like my ones i probably wear like the shadows the most i don't know why that's just that's just the one bro the one for me is the shadow ones and that's the one i wear the most and i just usually wear my old ones because i can just keep beating them down and cleaning them back up and keeping it moving. Uh, Air Jordan One's just another really good sneaker for the fall, and um, they may make it on my list. They probably make it on my list every year, but it's.
it's just one of those shoes that nowadays certain colorways yes they go for a lot of money but even great colorways like the shadows are going for under two hundred dollars and that's a steal bro compared to years ago when they used to go for 300 and 400 and you didn't see shadow ones at all unless you had the money to drop on them or you got them on the original release um nowadays bro dudes just don't care if it don't sell it don't matter so capitalize on some of these good retros while you can but that was a shoot for friday the bread air jordan one classic let's get to the next one she jump on top in the back hey i told that girl she a topper hey alexander mcqueen yeah pants so clean they look like some dockers now y'all know what i like to do i like to bring back an older shoe that has a story behind it for sunday so this shoe i did wear on sunday but i just substituted in for Saturday because on Sundays I'm usually just wearing slides and chilling in the crib but y'all know I had to do it if you missed that video there is a $500 giveaway live right now the last mystery box video go peep that but one of the shoes I did unboxing that was these right here the Hollows Eve off-white blazers and yes I am that guy that gets a brand new pairs of shoes and wears them the same exact day I'm sorry I've been wanting them for a long time the delayed W came in and I needed to wear them ASAP. One thing I will say about them though is that I wore mine with black jeans and there's already dye up here just because this is suede and these suede materials on the back. So if you do eventually get these, just know that if your jeans have dye on them, they will bleed on the tops of these. But I mean, y'all already know, bro. I, I talked a lot about these. I've talked a lot about these in multiple videos and I'm just glad to finally have them. So if you missed that last unboxing, the mystery box video, it's a giveaway live right now on that video for $500. So if you didn't see it, go peep it. But yes, Hollow's Eve blazers with the blue laces. If you guys did not peep the IG fit, and if you're not following me on IG, follow at B-U-L-L-1-T-R-C right now. Go drop a like on that joint and um, you kind of see a fit that I put together with these. But that was Saturday. Let's get into the last shoe of this week for Sunday. And I think it's a good one. Ride a full stroke and I crank the door out. This shit so sturdy. I really do pie holes. Somewhere in the Philippines. Yeah, my new girl. She legit like a model. So next up, but definitely not last up for Sunday. We have this shoe right here. And man the dust on the box these dropped in 2013 and um yes they are you, you guys can kind of see the dust how much i actually wear these there is dust on the top of the box and that is the grape air jordan 5 from 2013 all right, what's up everybody on youtube this is bar rc country on the video this time we're going to be doing the feature fit for the grape 5. so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get on to the feature fit for the air jordan 5 in the grape colorway some young niggas we just on our job doing it all she got a house in a car but she love the fuck we young niggas and i do have to be honest about the 2013 retro the leather on these joints is just it's just brick leather bruh the quality on these is not is not there it's not the best quality air jordan but uh, it does come with laces, so you know that's that's a good thing. And I'm actually pretty sure I still have yes the original receipt from back when I bought them. And I bought these on let me see May 4th, I believe is, is the date. Yes, May 4th, 2013 at 8:34 a.m. And that was back when I used to camp out at my local mall, Lynn Haven Mall, a lot. And this was like one of the first shoes where I camped and I just wasn't sure if I was gonna be actually able to get them. Mine are in still really, really good condition. I actually haven't changed them from how I used to lace. I remember I made like a video on how to lace Air Jordan 5s uh, way back then. And I haven't actually changed the way that I lace them. I just left them like that. And um, yeah, I mean, the 2013s are clean. I would have loved to have the Fresh Princes because I think the leather and plus the Nike Air on the back, I mean, that was definitely a thing. But these things, I mean, even the 06s are still dope, but the Grape Air Jordan 5, when these things dropped in 2013, it was a problem. I don't know if I have any old like camp out footage from that. I think I should have it somewhere on the channel, um, but this was a stressful, a stressful camp out. I actually bought a size 13, and that's why these are actually a size 11 and a half. When I went in to buy my size 12, they only had 13, and then the homie that wore 13, he actually had an 
11 and a half because back then you could only get a ticket for one store and I guess he asked the wrong person. They gave him a ticket for 11 and a half when he needed a 13. Boom, bada bing, I got the 13, we traded, and that's how I got this pair. So shouts out to the homie Rudy, if Rudy is still watching, if Rudy still pays attention to anything I do, I appreciate you, bro, I still got them. So that is it, man. That was the last shoe for Sunday. You guys let me know what was your favorite shoe made from my rotation, or what was the favorite shoe that you wore last week. Um, definitely, definitely holds a special place in my heart right these, even though the leather is as hard as just, this is just cardboard, bro. Just cardboard leather on these joints. But much love to all the fan followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I mean, I got them. I got them right here. So, bull at RC. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like on this joint and new videos are on the way. Planning on dropping the Platinum Tent review tomorrow for these 11s. And, um,. I mean, y'all kind of already know how I feel about them because I did the unboxing, but yeah, Platinum Tents, going to be doing that review soon for y'all so y'all can decide whether or not y'all want to drop the Charlies on it, but that is it. I am out of here. Peace. Why do these boys hate? Yeah, but they don't know me. Yeah, ballin' like Kobe. Yeah, flooded my rolling. Yeah, diamonds on solar. Diamonds got colder. Other words, diamonds got polar. Chopper on shoulder. Bye. Bye.